Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Dexter DX7.5L bolt-on disc brake actuator with the electric lockout for a 2-inch hitch ball. It has a 7,500 pound weight capacity. Now you'll use this actuator to synchronize your trailer's disc brakes with your tow vehicle brakes. This hydraulic actuator will activate the trailer brakes when your tow vehicle slows or stops. But <clears throat> basically what happens is when you apply the brakes in your tow vehicle, the deceleration occurs and the momentum will push this trailer toward the rear of your vehicle. So with the surge brake system, this actuator is triggered as your trailer moves forward while the tow vehicle slows. The inner portion of this actuator will telescope in. It applies force to the master cylinder, which in turn supplies the necessary hydraulic pressure to engage your trailer's brakes. <clears throat> if you look on the front of this, it has a nice low, pro low profile coupler latch to ensure easy secure connection. And when I say low profile, it doesn't have anything sticking up high like on some of your couplers. It has a latch way up high that after time it could get hit and get bent, things like that. This one's all a nice low profile out of the way coupler latch. Now this is an over the center latch mechanism which will only engage when the actuator is fully seated on a two inch hitch ball. And what I wanted to do is demonstrate that. <clears throat> Here's an example of a two inch hitch ball that this will fit on. So first thing you want to do is when you go to install it, you'll slide out this tethered safety pin here and that'll let you open the latch. And the way you open it is this little knob right up at the top, this rounded portion. Just slide that and it'll release and it's spring loaded, opens up. Now you're ready to attach. Here's your two inch ball. Drop it right over it, it attaches on there, put the latch down, it'll lock it into place. And then for extra security, you'll slide this safety pin back in. <clears throat> and what that safety pin does, what's nice, is if by chance this got hit and it actually opened, it wouldn't open all the way, so it stays attached. So that pin will keep it from opening all the way. And then to remove it, again, just slide out your safety pin, move that latch open, and then you can just disconnect from the hitch ball. Simple as that. So very easy connection and disconnection from the hitch ball. <clears throat> now this also does include this breakaway cable if you notice here. This breakaway cable is required by law. Basically what this cable does, it prevents a trailer runaway situation by applying the brakes on the trailer. And the way it does that, this should always be hooked to your tow vehicle. So if by chance this comes disconnected from the hitch ball and goes into a runaway situation, this cable will be pulled which would activate the uh, brake system back here and it'll apply the brakes on the trailer, keep it from a runaway situation. <clears throat> now this one does include the electric reverse lockout solenoid. This will right back here. If I raise that up, you can see in there some wires. There's this electric reverse lockout solenoid that'll let you back up without actuating your trailer brakes. Basically that lockout is automatically activated when you shift your tow vehicle into reverse. The solenoid wires that are on there will wire into your trailer connector and that connector connects to your tow vehicle so it'll detect when you go into reverse. The solenoid will ensure that that hydraulic actuator does not activate your trailer's brakes and allow you to back up your vehicle. Now to use that feature it does recommend that you have a five-way, six-way or seven-way trailer connector on your vehicle. <clears throat> now the master cylinder, let me flip this down you'll be able to see the end of the master cylinder right here. It is constructed of aluminum rather than plastic or steel. It gives you increased strength and corrosion resistance. And right above where the master cylinder is, it has this nice flush brake fluid filler cap. And the reason it's nice and flush, the same way you don't have, a lot of the caps are very tall and they can get hit and broke and things like this. This one's nice and flush, so it prevents it from any damage. And the same way you just twist it to open it, check your brake fluid or put in more brake fluid. Now this actuator does have a zinc plated finish which offers excellent corrosion resistance and it is a bolt on installation. You can see the holes back here. It is designed to fit a 3 inch by 5 inch straight trailer tongue. This part is made in the USA. Again the application is for hydraulic disc brakes. The ball size it fits on is a 2 inch diameter and the weight capacity is 7,500 pounds. But that should do it for the review on the Dexter DX7.5L bolt-on disc brake actuator with the electric lockout for a 2-inch hitch ball and has a 7,500 pound weight capacity.